Hey YouTube, how you all going? Um, just another video update on my journey to the world's toughest mudder. And this one is actually in response to a question I got uh, via private message through YouTube. Um, <clears throat> basically the question was, um, you know, what headlamp am I going to be taking to the event? And, uh, you know, instead of just shooting back a response, uh, which I did anyway, I thought I'd do a video on it because I've actually bought three different headlamps um, just because I wasn't really sure which one to go with. So I've, I've bought three, been able to test all three out, and obviously I can offer you my thoughts and opinions on each of them. <clears throat> so I'll just quickly run through them all. We've got the um, Black Diamond Storm, which is a quite a popular uh, model for most people. We've got the Verzon um, 3AA, E led and we've also got the Princeton um, Princeton Tech Apex so probably what I'll do is I'll start with the um, Verzon I don't, I'm not exactly 100% sure how they pronounce that but um, it's V I Z I O N um, E led it's a it's quite a good unit um, out of all of the headlamps I've just shown you, this one is like properly waterproof. Um, it's rated down to, you know, a couple of meters, um, whereas the other two are just rated down to one meter or about three or four feet. So uh, unlike those ones, you know, this one you could actually kind of go a fair way underwater and it should hold up quite well. Um, also, not sure if you can see in the unit there, but it's essentially an all-in-one piece. To get to the batteries, you actually pull this side chamber out, um, and it just runs on three AAA batteries. You pop it back in. You've got to get it line it up correctly. Sorry, um, and then you've also got this chamber here where you can turn it. You probably can't see. Uh, there you go. It goes from being red to frosted um, back to just a clear. And also you turn the chamber, the entire chamber, to tilt the, the light um, itself. So when you're running, if you want, you know, more of a focus on your feet in front of you, just tilt it down a bit. If you want to look straight ahead, that can easily be done as well. Uh, you can actually take the chamber out and off the kind of head strap and use it as like a little kind of camp light, you know, if you um, were back in your tent and just needed some light. <clears throat> it's a hundred lumens, um, which is the same as the uh, storm there as well. In terms of testing it out, I mean, I won't shine that directly in your eyes. And I, I didn't do a kind of test at night because, you know, they're they're essentially the same. So there's not too much difference that you'd be able to see if I was shining it against our house or something like that. Um, yeah, so I tested it out. Um, basically, this is the one I'm most happy with out of the three. It's nice and light on your head. Um, it doesn't bounce around too much. The strap's nice and um, thick and sturdy. No problems whatsoever wearing uh, this out running. Uh, and again, because it is the most waterproof out of the three, I think this is a safe option to go with especially with obstacles like walk the plank where you know you could go underwater more than a meter. Uh, <clears throat> second one I'll cover is the uh, Black Diamond Storm. Now I know this is a very popular uh, model that a lot of guys at World's Toughest Mudder are taking and before I got this I did look at a couple of reviews and one of the things that kind of came up over and over again was that when the light is on and you tilt it down uh, you might be able to see there, you kind of, it snaps back and forward. If you tilt it down, you kind of get underneath a reflection, um, or you can see the light through the top of your eyes, and it is a bit distracting. Uh, when it's fully upright like that, there's no problem at all, but tilting it down, there is this like annoying light, um, and I just find that really off-putting. Uh, if you were someone who preferred to tilt the light down, if you're running like that for three, four, five hours, it may get a little bit annoying. Um, again, it's a hundred lumens, so it's quite a bright light. Again, I won't shine it in um, to your eyes. 
also runs on AAA batteries. You just undo this little screw here at the back. Uh, the good thing with all these lights is you can actually take like the buckle or the clip part of the strap and use that to undo the screws. Um, so it's pretty easy if you need to change batteries on the go. In terms of like the strap holding it on your head, there was no problems there at all. It's still a very light unit. I, th this one is lighter, but this certainly isn't, you know, heavy enough to be off-putting. Um, so, if you've got the Storm, don't be uh, too worried. I'd just prefer to run with it, to, you know, clipped right up so you don't get that annoying light. It might not bother you anyway. Uh, the third and final light I've got is a fairly um, big unit. It's the Princeton Tech, Princeton Tech Apex. Uh, the benefit of this light is that it's 200 lumens, so it is brighter, um, but I, again, because I've tested it out, I'd say the main focus beam um, is essentially the same as the other, the Black Diamond and the Verzon. Uh, it's mainly your peripheral vision and the kind of light that shines out to the side where you get the benefit of the extra 100 lumens. Um, obviously that extra light comes with a disadvantage and that's the additional weight. You've got this large back uh, pack on the back of the strap. This is the battery unit. You undo this screw here. Fits four uh, AA batteries I believe, um, if my memory serves me correctly. And it's also got a centre strap across the top. Just because it is a heavier unit, you need to kind of hold it in place a little bit more. Uh, this was the second light that I tested on one of my runs and to be honest the weight wasn't a big issue for me. I could still run at a comfortable pace. It didn't bounce around too much but I do feel <clears throat> you know if you were wearing this for multiple laps you would maybe start to feel the, the weight uh, on your head. I also haven't tested it out yet wearing like a neoprene hood so I'm not sure if that would make a difference. Um, at all like maybe it'll slip and slide a little bit more so basically guys the way I'm looking at running um, the world's toughest mudder is this is good the Verzon uh, is going to be my main light I will start uh, using this from 4 30 p.m. when we're required to have a headlamp on when it's dark uh, or starting to get dark I will switch to the Princeton Apex uh, Princeton Tech Apex when it's pitch black late at night, you know, somewhere around that 12 p.m., um, uh, sorry, 12 midnight through to like 2 a.m. window, where I'm most likely going to be going at a slower pace anyway, and the additional kind of light, a bit of a morale booster, I guess, just so you can see a little bit more and don't feel as alone out there on the course if you're not running with anyone else. Um, so I think I'll do that, and then switch back once it starts getting a little bit lighter uh, to the Verzon. Alternatively, if either of those lamps fail or both of them fail, I'll go um, with the Black Diamond Storm. So that's pretty much it guys in terms of the lights. Um, I did forget to mention obviously like you can press multiple buttons on all of these things like you've with the um, Princeton Tech Apex here, you've got like side lights, you probably can't see that um, and you can dim them, you can flash them uh, like a strobe or you've got the main beam itself. Um, when you look at the instructions they all have you know different combinations in terms of pressing the buttons to get them to do different things. So that's it for the review guys, um, let us know your thoughts uh, on what headlamp you're wearing. Did you do it last year? What worked for you? Are you happy with how your headlamps held up in testing? And I uh, look forward to seeing you out on the course as well, guys. As always, please feel free... Sorry, please feel free to uh, subscribe for more videos uh, on my journey to the world's toughest mudder. Um, and also, you can follow me on Facebook as well. So, uh, that's it for now, guys, and see you next video.